Album covers. It's the thing I talk about on the internet. Nothing new there. We're no stranger to album covers on this channel. Me personally, I usually only talk about the best of the best, the good stuff. But today we're looking at the controversial side. The side where most people would universally agree this is a fantastic album cover. But for whatever reason, we got a couple goons out on the internet that say it's not. And this is such a task, this is such a Herculean effort that I can't do this alone. Drop it. <clears throat> That's right. I got really good at Blender. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joined here by friends of the show and my fellow co-hosts on the Good Enough Podcast, Luke On Demand and Jackson Burns. That's my name. That's my gonna be soon government name. And that's actually my name. It has been my whole life. Don't look into it. And welcome to the Good Enough Podcast. What's up, guys? It's me, Luke, Jake, and Jackson hanging out. The three. Oh wait, shit! This isn't. This is for your video. It's my video, buddy. Fuck. Wait, this isn't for the podcast. I thought it would. I have a rate. Like you got to keep up. You promised me dinner. <sighs> promised you more things than dinner. Never know what to say when I'm with people. Never ever. Overrated ever. album covers, according to my audience. <laughs> <laughs> I asked my loving Instagram audience, what is the most overrated album cover of all time? Not necessarily bad, not the worst album cover, but the album cover that is most universally loved, but for whatever reason, they're not vibing with. They're not rocking with it. So we have them presented with us today. We're going to get some bad takes, some horrendous opinions, because I already went through this. And we want to know maybe some good takes and hopefully my, a yeah, well made not. PowerPoint no, honestly, presentation. I'm hoping that maybe this is we're going to bridge the cultural gap between our channels with this. And maybe maybe, you know, maybe me and Luke have more in common with your audience than you would expect. Maybe there's some people where it's like, you know, maybe they have a hot take, but maybe maybe that hot take just might be right. I, I will right. say the last time we did a video like this, I remember specifically one comment was like, yo, this is a pretty awesome video. Don't really fuck with that Luke guy, though. <laughs> It's a real comment I read. I kind of want to get going, dude. I've been. You want to get going? Well, we've been we've been really excited about this. Jake put the post up yesterday, and all day he would just look at his phone and be like, "Oh my god, dude, <laughs> these fucking people He'd have like, no idea what they're talking about." This person's a fucking moron. I hate my fans, is what he said. And I was like, "Damn, man, that's a little harsh." And then like he was like, "No, but you don't understand." Wait until you see some pics. <laughs> dude, you this is gonna be fucked. I'm, this is gonna be fucked. You'll see why. If you would like to participate in a future video like this, I'm hoping to do more like this. So, Follow me on Instagram, man. That's where I, I Check do it. shit. I don't fuck with Twitter. That Hashtag self promo. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Yeah. I am, um. Um. Did someone <laughs> say hell yeah? Can uh, someone? Can I get a hell yeah? I'm literally so pumped. Are you fucking kid. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell, hell yeah. yeah. All right. It, you waited too long. It's not cool anymore. Let's just start this fucking thing. <laughs> All right, man. What? <laughs> this is probably next to another one that was like one of the most highly like the ones I've got the most. The Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. Yeah, some people, like, we're not rocking with this. I think that the, my biggest disagreement with this is Oxymoronica says it does not represent the music. Dude, that that looks like the exact sound of Dark Side of the Moon to I, me. I feel like it perfectly yeah. represents the music. And I also, I will say, I don't agree with it, but I think Never a Loser again, it's very funny. There is no moon. There's no moon. Plus, there's no the moon. Dark Side of the Moon, there's no moon to be found. Like, they could have very easily just been like, all right, man, Dark Side of the Moon, put the moon on that shit. And they didn't. They chose something way more creative that I think represents the music way better. It immediately catches your eye. And listen, I understand that it's like one of the most beloved album covers, but I feel like it earns its spot. It, I, I, it it's, proper, it's properly rated. Yeah, I, I, I think it's properly rated. Yeah. And there we you. go. <laughs> and, uh, th this is the one. I, I'm gonna. So what, when Jake first told us he was doing this, me and Luke kind of at the same time were like, well, there's one that I know that w someone here is going to say, I deeply don't enjoy this album cover. <laughs> like, deeply have a disenjoyment of this album cover. I, I might don't, be I don't missing something, it but all. it's just a stale banana. Yuck. You that are not it. missing anything. <laughs> Andy Warhol, I think, is one of the most overrated artists of all time. I'll say it. Uh, here's my take on this. Here's my take on this. Andy Warhol take, completely agree. Okay. Completely agree. Yeah. With that being said... Dude, this is one of the best fucking cover arts ever made. Bro. Why? It is fucking awesome. It's just so iconic. Like you instantly look at it, and I can't think of anything else. Is it other iconic than because Velvet of the Underground music or because of the cover? I think it goes hand in hand. The music 
is iconic itself. The album cover is iconic itself and working together, it just makes such a fucking unbelievable and deeply awesome album artwork. And I know by the look of Jake that he completely disagrees with me right now. Yeah, that's correct. Taco shit, man. It's decent. It is decent, however. If we're looking at minimalism, let's compare it to the Pink Floyd example from earlier. Yeah. This doesn't give me the minimalistic, iconic vibe that that gives me. Yeah, agreed 100%. It's a, it's a, it's a nana. It's a nana. <laughs> Might be yeah, but it's, but it's the it's Velvet banana. Underground Yuck. banana, bro. And and maybe I'm biased because <laughs> I actually do really love this album. Yeah, me and Jake, like, I don't think really... Yeah, I, I, it just Yuck. feels... Yuck. It just feels vintage. I don't know how to describe it. Like, it just... That and that's what the album... Effect, baby. That's what the <laughs> album, like gives off to me like it just it's a I don't vintage, know. vintage rest piece, in man. peace andy warhol you would have loved the good enough podcast <laughs> so this one was funny channel mm -hmm. orange this individual went a little deeper though i love frank ocean none of his album covers do much for me especially channel orange so in technicality okay which i can now put in the thumbnail <laughs> technically this too yeah that's pretty bad so so i will say this take wise channel orange channel orange i will say out of all of his covers probably agree with the most just because i feel like this font and this font don't necessarily pair Agreed, well yeah. in my opinion with that being said Funny if you beautiful. really don't think the blonde cover is good what's wrong with you that is one of the fucking most yeah, awesome yeah. cover arts. that's crazy that and it, i it's it's i think that here, here's what i'll say it does it does channel orange such a disservice to put blonde next to it because i i do agree that i think channel orange is his worst cover and i think that especially like i like what he was doing kind of with like the the tv static behind the word channel yeah and because of the, like that's plays such a heavy hand in the actual music, and I think that if you took that like static idea and really expanded on it, but like <laughs> but like especially in like like when you have like dude the cover for endless, the, the cover endless for endless cover is, is awesome. So awesome. The nostalgia ultra cover is awesome, and Iconic honestly, car, bro. all of the all of his newer singles like in my room, like sick. I like those yeah, covers so are sick. awesome. Um, and so I, I definitely do agree that I think the channel. I, I don't even know if I call it overrated because I don't know how much people really love the cover for Channel Orange, but Blonde is will go down as an iconic cover yeah that like damn near perfect the way the cover, green honestly. pops in the hair too yeah. it's just it's such a good splash of color yeah in it. like the framing the placement the, the band-aid on yeah. his finger, yeah, like dude. the font of blonde like it's all like it's damn near perfect i have to say so while henry didn't technically say that blonde was on there by technicality and i'm putting the thumbnail yeah. down that's on <laughs> that's so. going in there oh yeah all right come on <laughs> 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 come on, come no on. No way. Man. Fucking seriously, multiple dude? People. Multiple people. Multiple people, might I add. Uh, Lukey uh, says, uh, it feels like the collage of the EPs, but they don't morph as well as I want. Pause. It's the fucking point. It's literally the point of... <laughs> Damn, man. It's literally what the album cover artist said when he was making it. He's like, we're not allowed <laughs> to undo. So it's a collage. It's yeah. a collage of stuff being cool slapped rule, on actually. top of it. That was literally what they said. They're like... No undo. You just slap stuff on top and collage it. That's a really interesting technique. I like that a lot. This is insane. This is crazy. I, is album cover yeah. is... I do not think that this is their best cover, personally. I honestly like... I like kind of like the Kid A era stuff. Like Kid A, Amnesiac. Even Hail to the Thief I really enjoy a lot. Um, covers wise and dude and a moon shaped pool. Moon -shaped dude, pool. That beautiful. covers. So I think insane, I think bro. all those are better covers, but this one is like it's I think it's iconic for a reason because yes, it's like the funny radiohead album, like haha, -ha, but like <laughs> dude, like that just looks like all the messaging of the album put into one photo. Yeah. yeah. And I, I I didn't know anything about the undo rule and I think that's such an interesting way of like putting the the lore of the album or kind of like the themes into the cover. It's just awesome. It's it's, so, it's just truly awesome. It's so cold, dystopian. Yeah. It's oh, like, sure. It fits the music like just perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Like this, I'm sorry, but you're, you're out of your mind. I also haven't, I haven't sat and looked at it up close in a long time. And I feel like it's the kind of thing where it's like, you see it from afar and it's intriguing, but the closer you get, the more you're like, what am I actually looking at? Yeah, right. And then you yeah. and then you kind of, you, you kind of dissect it. Where it's like, oh, it's a road, and is that was it like a shadow of a person and a bomb? I I love this trip. A cover, this, Lukey Steve's, man, fuck you, man. We hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Ad time. Ah, shit. <laughs> This portion of this video is sponsored by CatchingBigFish.store, the channel merch, my merch, for a bucket of Jake, and just for merch in general. You do me a favor and hand me some of the Johns oh, over there. Dude, of course, it's been right next to me the whole time. There's no way. If you've been living under a rock, you'd have no idea that Catching Big Fish is not only my merch brand with some excellent stuff, the Catching Big Fish logo t-shirt, looking excellent. The Fishman hoodie. Check it. Holy 
beautiful brown hoodie. Check it out. Yeah. But not only that, I refer to Living Under a Rock because we have new merch, guys. Oh! Check it. Bucket of Jake exclusive. It's the logo on a sh shirt. It's the funny That's logo. That's fucking insane, bro. Front with the back. and back. Loki melting a little bit there. I'm not even being paid to say this. New personal favorite of mine on on the store. Rocks. I'm personally a hoodie guy. I like I like the brown a lot. Last but not least, we got hats. For all the hat fellows, check out the bait and tackle hat. If you like wearing hats Damn. that specifically say catching big fish, bait and tackle on it, that have nothing to do with fish or fishing in we any have way. A clothing brand for you. That this is the clothing brand for you. Just look at him. Look how smug he looks wearing that hat. <laughs> That's awesome. I'd let him hit. <laughs> so if you'd like to support the channel, fun future drops, and look fresh as hell like these other uh, internet music celebrities, support the channel at catchingbigfish.store. Let's use code OVERRATED for 10% off for the next 72 hours. Oh, wow. I convinced him to do that. He was going to be like, yo, if they put in that code, I want them to pay more. And I was like, nah, bro, that's, that makes no sense. Actually, a <laughs> yeah. 1,000% more. Is Putting code overrated to pay me double. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. ECW transition. And then <laughs> the ECW transition that's, goes. That's awesome. Check it. I knew it was going to show up, man. It was only a matter of Did time. Did you? It was only a matter this of This was crazy when I saw this. Well, I mean, this cover is talked about so much. Like, someone was bound to say yeah. it. Yeah. This album is universally loved. This album cover is universally loved. But there is a small but mighty group of people that just hate everything about it. Really? Yes. I did not know this. Because this is just a beautiful album cover. I love this album I, cover. I agree. And I, I also hate... Uh, this is a good chance to talk about this because I wanted to bring this up. Uh, the the comment here left by Abel Bud Butter ba 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 Abel Bud Butter. It's just a postcard with a drum edit on someone's head. I fucking hate it when people like are like, nah man, this thing isn't good because it took two seconds to make, and it's like things can be cool if and be simple, you know? Yeah, simplicity is good. Sometimes a photo is really cool and it took two seconds to take. Yo, but it, it's, by the time it's I get awesome. to Phoenix, it's just a dude with a it's light on. It's literally him. just, just a, a screenshot of a Nat Geo thing, and it's like yeah, it doesn't well, it matter. Way less cool when you say it like that. I'm just <laughs> well, yeah, but that's my point. Is like is like a, a description. You can simplify literally anything. Where it's like, dude, this mic is so fucking stupid, man. It's just like rattling right on my fucking like little comb thing. And it's like, all right, bro, like cool. I mean, I guess, but also like. This is really awesome. Yeah, yeah. Out but of the colors are so made. lush. I love the grain. I love it old. And I don't know why people are fucking making fun of the the drum head. I yeah, think I feel like rocks. the drum the drum head, like the the I don't know. That's the first thing I look at when framing is look, excellent. Yes. Did anybody uh, else think that it was a potato for a bit? No. I uh, for a lo the longest time I thought the drum was a pe was it like a slice of potato. I could never tell what it was. I I always thought it was like either a drum or like I thought I it was mean, like a tambourine. It's a yeah. tambourine. I think is it. I it mean, can be either. We can't get into this again, guys. Yeah. We can't. I think that this is the best example we've seen yet of like, dude, the album sounds just like this, dude. Yeah. yeah. It sounds just like this. And that, hey. that guy right there on the bottom, that's Neutral Milk Hotel right that's, there. Yeah, that's there him. he is, dude. <laughs> and the other guy with There's No Moon, boom, there's the sea. Get fucked. Dude, good that's cover. what we're wow. talking about. Good cover. Holy fuck. Yeah, good shit. Multiple people said this? Multiple. And they'd be right. Yeah. Mm. As do a lot of things with this album... Uh, didn't age well. It didn't age well. I will say there are a lot of great songs on this, but I don't know. He was going for a very uh, it was very of the time. I think the sound I of was it, and I and I, and I agree with the like the art style as well. Whenever it comes to you know the actual I was hamming it up, but I think I also agree. Yeah, it, I, I, not bad. Yeah. I wouldn't. Go no, as no, far it's no, not no, a bad. I, cover. Yeah, not a bad cover. It's I, just not. It definitely is. I, it smells like the. It's copyright label in the bottom. Yeah, two thousand seven. like two thousand seven. If I saw this in a record store, I'd probably just be like, hmm. "Flip, yeah." Flip. You know, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't catch my eye as much as I think it, yeah. it should. It's just a little bit too much. I feel like it's it's going for a maximalism thing, and I don't really think it sticks the landing. There's just too many colors that clash with one another. What are the eyes doing? I don't know. I think the art is cool. And I don't think it's a bad cover art, but it's definitely just of of its time. I, I think it is overrated. If it if, yes. if, if if we're yeah, it is overrated. That's the name of the video, which yeah. is it's overrated. Yeah, this is an overrated cover. <laughs> <laughs> Do people like this cover art? No, but the reasoning the reasoning behind it was funny. Is bro, bro is literally holding an umbrella underwater. <laughs> it's not working for him. <laughs> <laughs> Not working it is for not him. working. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Gunna is a weird like character in this kind of story because like I think Gunna has some decent album covers, but people overhype them 
so yeah. like way too much. I love underwater album covers like yeah. that one like with the what is it the Wise Blood. Yeah, yeah, that the, the, cover the is fucking awesome. amazing. Yeah, that's crazy. This is just a bad photo. Like it's, yeah. it's poorly lit. The composition kind of fish eyed. Bro, it's, it's like kind of fish eyed, but didn't really do it well. Like, they definitely edited bro underwater. Charlie XCX is brat. Like this was inundated with people to the point where I tried to keep it to like only two reasons, but like yeah, people are not fucking with brat. I okay. I will say this: when I first saw this album cover, I was not a fan, but as time has progressed. I really think I am a big fan of this album cover. I'm not going to lie. I think it's fucking awesome. I think it is so sick. I kind of had an opposite thing. Oh. But but l l let me explain. Okay. When it first came out, I was like this is awesome. I feel like it like it, it feels like the music sounds and I still I still do believe that. I think that it is a little bit overrated in that now that I've seen it everywhere, I think the bit has gotten really unfunny really fast where it's like well, that's, you a, see this that's shit what Nutty2112 yeah. said. Uh, bland text with ugly gear background. Never cool enough to warrant the meme status it had. I mean, you see this shit everywhere. It's like movie posters where it's like, oh, like, look, it's a movie poster in the style of Brat. And it's like, all right, man, you put some text on a, on a green background. Like, I, I think it, that's, I a, know. Th that's the reason it has become such a meme is that it's so easily yeah. replicable. Yeah, yeah. It's just so easily, like, you can easily make it. I think it's because it's so easily reproducible, but also so easily identifiable yeah, like, yeah who else is gonna make like possibly the most unattractive green i use a lot of green on this channel this is legit the most it's unattractive a rough it's like green. a few yeah. green and the fact that it's like squished like i don't even know like looks like aerial font that's blurry yeah. well it's it's like squished and it's yeah they intentionally made it blurry which honestly i think the bl like if it wasn't blurry i don't think i would like agreed it. Yeah. I, I think that adds a lot i don't necessarily agree that it's like overrated overrated but i think that i'm ready for the memes to go away i think once the album cover is able to stand on its own i think that it will gain classic status as an album cover i it personally does, do it, it, I, I i i kind of agree and i think that if i didn't know anything about it and i saw it in a record store it would definitely catch my eyes like okay what the fuck eye catching is for sure definitely yeah. it's almost like it was genetically engineered to be eye catching damn gross she knew what she was doing oh my fucking god dude <laughs> I told are you, there you was some like horrendous, actually are you dumb like some horrendous shit <laughs> quote yeah, it's cool for sure but def overrated like the text kind of throws me off bro what are you talking what are you about, talking about? The what text makes it dude <laughs> think about all the blank space the that goes text. away when you take away the text the dude text. <laughs> dude. <laughs> this is how you know jake disagrees because jake bro, is someone who really does not fuck with like text on album covers yeah, for yeah, the yeah. most part you need to but be, it works so well here. You dude. need to do it in very in such a way that it's in, it incorporates the message of the cover. It's, it's what a, it does. It's a right, perfect. Sorry. It's a perfect album cover. Dude. Yes, it, it is. Again, this looks exactly like the record sounds. Yeah. Dude. All like the all the food references, like the ads on the milk and stuff, like how devious he looks in the fucking chair. Dude. He does look devious. He as looks hell, like he's bro. ready to like fuck some shit up. Like he's dude. about I to eat it. that cereal and fucking. Kill a I guy. love it, dude. I fully love it. Yeah, no, I'm just this kidding. is uh, maybe worst this is take the worst the take I've seen. Probably yeah, honestly, like, yeah, dude, honestly. I'm really pressed about this one. I yeah, want yeah, this is a right. fucking awesome cover art. Yeah, yeah. all caps when I spelled them. Yeah, I know. I, I caught that. I, I, I checked to make sure. I know so, bro. Oh, dude, come on, bro. <laughs> what is with people not fucking with shit that's a little bit ugly and hard to look at? Like, come it's on, bro. okay. It, it it's it's demonic, man. It's like a literal. It's a literal demon, man. Yeah, a literal demon. No, you don't understand. I'm a literal demon from the forest, from the enchanted forest. Divorce. It just is so iconic, and you Th look at it, and it's like, amazing. it's like, yeah, man, that's that's the it. That is the Crimson King. That is that king. is him, bro. There he is, the, man. And and honestly, I'll say it. Probably one of the best examples we've seen in this video, if not the best, of album cover matching the music, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. If you're hitting like check boxes for like the perfect album cover, is like matches the music, recognizable, cool visual. Yeah. Beautiful colors, like literally it everything has been dinged. Yeah, and like I, it's, and I think that what makes bah. it even better is that, like, especially to seeing your video, I think you talked about this, like, the, like having the physical edition. The of physical it, version makes it like, so much better. Where it's like you turn it over and it's like the backside of him, and then you open it and it's like the guy doing like the like the weird hand thing. Is that and also the outer like cover? It's like it extends it's this just, photo. It's just yeah, 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 yeah it, 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 it's face. so cool. It's I mean, so and not to mention the story behind the album cover, like of the artist who did it. Like it's just. 
it all comes together really, really yeah, well. It, 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 yeah, it, it, honestly, like out of all these, I think this one like deserves its flowers the most. Yeah, yeah. if anything, this is, this might be the worst take of the video. Probably. It's probably yeah. it, it may be it may be the worst take, and I'm sorry that you find it ugly because I'm not sorry, man. I'm not because this thing is fucking. I, I do excellent. feel sorry for them. They'll never be able to understand the the beauty within. Fact. Damn, man, bro, this was you. <laughs> <laughs> this was me, dude. This was you, dude. That shit. What the sucks. fuck? This is an incredible, incredible record. Very influential. Has probably one of the best opening songs of all time. And they went pink gradient with like the worst text you've ever seen. You know what this and looks it's like? Awesome. You know what this looks like? A Sephora ad, dude. Tell me I'm wrong right now. Look me in the eye and tell me that does not look like some shit you'd see in like a makeup aisle. Oh, the sunbather cover co uh, color just dropped. Check it out, guys. The new Sunbather eyeliner. The Check sun it. The Sunbather palette, bro. It'll go great with your, I don't know, blender and eye, whatever. Uh, other, other, it may, other look, it, it may look like other Sephora, but hey, how about this? How about both of them look good? I'll Ooh. just say it. This is awesome. Sephora artwork looks good in the context of being in a Sephora. And this looks good in the context of this fucking album. How does this, look, hit, like, right, how right. Does this look like a death Ladies, record? ladies, please. <laughs> I find myself in the middle of you two. I don't think this Literally. is... <laughs> I don't think this is the worst thing since sliced bread, but I don't think it's the best either. It's g I like. What do I like about this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> By looking at this cover, you go like, man, I, I have a feeling this is going to be exactly what I need it to be. No, like, I, I, I'm. But, but then it listen, failed. No, but listen, I think the cover art in juxtaposition with the music works so well. But also, I feel like I feel like it works as well with the music because there are so many fucking amazing euphoric moments on this album like fucking dream house i don't even have to talk about yeah, that dream house is yeah. an incredible song but i feel like it, the it, color doesn't even sound like that just, to me though it's just i don't know i feel like it works but i just feel I, like but, it works but i think that if it did a true juxtaposition it would work better because this this doesn't say like happy to me it says like corporate which, I don't which think, is which I don't, is arguably worse i don't feel that at all i don't think it feels corporate i think they I'm have better much, covers too i think i'm right down the middle with you guys i'm like i could see both sides and i'm just very like i think they have better cover it. arts but i i don't know i don't think it's i don't think it's corporate like you're saying huh i mean agree to disagree man i i, I love this album i I, re I recently rediscovered it but man the cover every time i open it up i'm like damn they could have done better with this canceled the beatles white <laughs> album canceled, cover bro. I, I talked shit about Here this cover go. on my how to make a good album cover uh, video. And I know Jake will probably disagree with me. I know Jackson will probably disagree with me. But there's so many albums, especially in recent times. I feel like it's a very recent thing. And I will say this. The Beatles were ahead of their time whenever they made this, this cover. Uh, but there are so many albums where people are just like, yo, let's just make it a, a, a color. And that's it. And, you know, Earl Sweatshirt did it with Solace, which I think is... A good, a good example <laughs> of it, but like Life of Pierre yeah. Four did it, yeah. uh, Childish Gambino did it on uh, what is now even Atavista. Brat, even Brat to some degree. Yeah, Brat to some degree, and I feel like for the most part, it just does not work. Uh, with that being said, I think this album, uh, I think it's cool that they did this immediately after Sgt. Pepper's. Like it, it was really cool that they, you know, did yeah. a blank cover. I just don't see it. I think it's a, I think it's fine. But I think it's so fucking overrated. I think that here's what I'll say. This is my favorite Beatles album. I, I don't know if it's my favorite cover, but I think it's close. It's it's the Beatles, and it's like they were like, we're not even gonna put a cover on that thing. Like that to me is like really revolutionary in like an interesting way. Mm -hmm. I think you could be able to. I think you could make the argument that it's just lazy and whatever. It's just white. But I don't know, man. There's something so iconic about it just being like, we are trying a new sound. We are really just digging in and trying to find out like something new about what we can do with like our music. Let's just call it a fresh slate, throw everything out the, out the thing, put our name on the record and call it a day. My take, I think I kind of lean more toward Luke in uh, it not being a little overrated just because it is so bland. The, with that being said, I have not listened to this album, so I don't know if the themes or messages are properly conveyed in the visuals here. But from the outsider, just looking at the cover, it's white with a name on it. And actually, uh, someone uh, gave me like a whole book in my DMs about like, they, they didn't give me a specific album, but they were like, albums where it is blank it is nothing and then uh, artist name they're like that's my least favorite type of album if people are saying this is like the greatest things in sliced bread 
probably over it's just on so many like top like 100 album covers lists that i've seen like post throughout the years and i don't know i, just, I it really like it man i don't know so, something about it I, I, again I, I think that now it's kind of become a meme where it's like oh yeah you put a cover for your for your album but like this was truly insane no and, I, again, I will say in this the context is, of the beatles doing this in like the 70s or like no 60s, I, 70s, I will say i think this insane. is a extremely influential cover it's just personally I think another thing too is like I would never do an album cover like this. I yeah, don't know. fair enough. That's just me, Jake. I'm really interested to see yours because yeah, same. Like yesterday, he was being so secretive. He was like, "Guys, you're gonna fucking hate what I say." I think you will actually. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> like a knife to my heart, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, let me. Let Fuck. Me myself. Yeah, explain so. yourself. People are putting this as like the greatest album cover of all time. People. It is <laughs> so good. It's good. No fucking shot is the greatest album cover of all time, brother. Like, if you're talking about Kanye taking a snap, it's literally, he's chilling. He's like, cool, send it. No, nah, man, it works. <laughs> no, dude. There's you don't something understand. about it that makes it so visually interesting to me. I think that, like, I, I don't know, man, because, I mean, he. he <sighs> Damn, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to articulate this <laughs> properly. Lost. That album is so personal and raw to me, and to have like a cover that's like a selfie of himself, but not even really, where it's like this distorted version of him. You know, I think this. You know what? I take back everything I said in this video. This is the best example of an album cover fitting the music. I really do believe that. I yeah, it's I really do believe me. that. I really do it's believe so that. It's so good, Jake. This album. I just oh dude, this is so I, heartbreaking to me. I just can't think of any other cover that would match the music other than this. I can't think of anything else. Listen, it's again. I don't even dislike this cover. I think that's a good cover. It's just no. It just can't be in the conversation for best of all time. Peace, every crease on your brain. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. And I, I don't know. Again, maybe I, I'm I'm so incredibly biased. I, this is probably my favorite hip hop record to ever exist. It's so touching to me. And something about that cover just feels like a. I don't know. It feels it feels like a, like a snapshot. Um, and I literally. enjoy it. Yeah, literally, man. Literally. I don't know if it's my favorite hip hop record ever, but it's up there. It's one of one of the best. It's pretty, a fantastic record. Great. Yeah, I, lo I love some rap songs. Like fucking that shit goes crazy as fuck. But album cover again, not even bad. Just I don't think this is uh, this go Brutal. territory. Yeah. So Brutal. we're gonna kill you. So anyway, your ticket home <laughs> is booked. This is so uh, tough. Airport, airplane leaves in a couple minutes, you guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Leave it in the comments if you think we have good takes, bad takes, atrocious takes. And if you're brave, give us some of your own. Or uh, just neutral takes or as neutral well. Takes. Like you're just down the middle. You're like, I don't really particularly care about if you're just anything lonely. that happens It's like, here. yo, the sky is blue. That's a take. Fellows, where can people find you? Well, I haven't uploaded in so fucking long. <laughs> yeah, why are you here? Uh, proper video. Uh, but with that being said, if you still want to check out what I'm doing, I got, yeah, I got some stuff coming out. Maybe not, you know, proper music, uh, not like video essay, but just, I got some stuff coming out. If you want to keep track of me, you can go to my YouTube channel, Luke on demand, or you can check out my Twitter, which I'm on a lot. Unfortunately, Luke on demand YT. Uh, there's also my Instagram page, but honestly, I'm low key thinking about deleting Instagram. So. <gasps> Damn. You can check me out on YouTube, uh, just Jackson Burns, just the you know the government name. I don't know. Hit me up on uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter at Jackson and Burns. Yep. And watch the Good Enough podcast. Oh, oh yeah! Oh. Remember that? Remember that thing that we do almost every week? Almost. Yeah. Check out the Good Enough podcast. Uh, it's the three of us just talking, chatting, music, movies, whatever the fuck we want. And yeah, uh, it maybe used to be about music. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I don't, I don't know. know now, our, now hit, sometimes hit up our Patreon. Sometimes for, we uh, show up. Extra content. Sometimes, sometimes we're yeah. there. Hit, hit up, yeah, hit up the Good Enough there. Podcast Patreon if you want extra episodes. Hit up Jake's Patreon if you want to see some epic, cool stuff. Oh. If you want to get a song reviewed by me in a, a radio interview style format, you go so you go to his Patreon. Page. And five big greens a month. Catching big, big fish, fish dust store. store. Add, clothes. There's some cool merch. You can wear that. Hell yeah. He's wrinkling it. That's what you my do. Fault. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. My fault. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. See you the fuck later. Fucking, fucking idiots. Your fans are idiots. Oh,